Our story begins on the 56th anniversary of the Moro National Liberation Front, or MNLF for short. This day not only marked a significant milestone for the MNLF, but it also served as a commemoration of the Jabida massacre, a tragedy that sparked activism among the Moro people. During this event, the Davao City State Revolutionary Committee of the MNLF expressed support for a rather unexpected figure, Pastor Apollo C. Quiboloy of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. This announcement came amidst a sea of controversy, with the pastor facing numerous accusations. Ati Emmanuel Fontanilla, a staunch defender of Pastor Kiboloy, criticized the use of the Senate for public trial. He argued that the pastor was being unfairly judged and that justice was not being served. In response, members of the MNLF pledged their support for Pastor Kiboloy. They expressed readiness to fight for justice for the pastor, emphasizing the importance of unity and solidarity across different religious and cultural groups. The MNLF's stand was clear. They demanded justice and unity, urging the government to halt its persecution. This event not only demonstrated the MNLF's support for Pastor Kiboloy, but also showcased the strength that comes from unity and solidarity, regardless of religious or cultural differences. To sum it up, the 56th anniversary of the MNLF was marked by a strong display of unity as the group rallied behind Pastor Apollo C. Kiboloy. The group's call for justice and unity echoes loud and clear, underscoring the power of solidarity in our society. This event serves as a reminder that unity can be a powerful force, capable of crossing cultural and religious boundaries and fighting for justice. Times like these remind us of the importance of standing together, united in our shared beliefs and values.